These boys are the cutest. <laughs> Noah just loves watching Leo. Is he so funny, Noah? Well, Leo burnt his finger a couple of days ago and it was doing really well. It just blistered over and it was fine. But today the blisters popped and he's really sad about it. So today we're off to the doctors to go get it dressed. So that's our morning job today, isn't it? Oh, poor baby. So after two and a half hours, I've finally finished at the mine injuries unit. And Leo's finger is now dressed, which is good. And they're, and they're both fast asleep. It's crazy how much of an emotional roller coaster parenting is. That one minute everything's happy and fine and they're all laughing. And then the next minute, Leo is upset because his finger's hurting him and I want to fix it and help him, but I can't. So I feel awful about that and then I take him to the doctors and then he's all fine and happy and playing then like then you worry that you don't even need to be there and that you're just being one of those worrying parents. It's just so strange how you can feel so many emotions in such a short space of time um, and still love it. That it's such a strange phenomenon that parenthood is. Is it fixed? Yes! It's quite an impressive bandage, isn't it? Oh Noah! Poor Noah down there, it's so funny. <laughs> Do you enjoy being Leo's horsey? Yeah. Um, no. <laughs> Are you eating him? I thought you were kissing him. Yuck! Yuck? <laughs> Why yuck? What do you fancy? This one. That one? Yeah. Some carrots? Yeah. Nice and healthy, can't fault him on that one. The milk killed Santa. He's flat. Oh, I need to out. <laughs> what happened to the Santa Leo? Oh dear. Oh dear, poor Santa. So we're now on day two of our 100 days of good and my good thing today was when I was at the um, minor injuries unit with Leo today that after I'd finished there with him there's a Tesco Metro just next door and I was like actually do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to buy some chocolate for the people there because they were really nice and although we had to wait ages they were really kind especially because Leo was getting a little bit hard work towards the end um, and I think other people there weren't coping with having to wait so long um, and so I was really grumpy with them kind of understandable but not nice for them still so I thought I'd get them some chocolate and uh, the lady at the reception because I said that it was for all of them you know the nurse that saw him etc and uh, she was like, oh, you've made my day, that's so nice. Mine was, um, in one of my lessons today, my students were being really disruptive. Um, and they didn't really want to learn because it was the last period of the day. Um, but I decided that I was still going to, I was going to ignore all of their whinging and their moaning. And I was still going to try and teach them the lesson. Because obviously I understand that it's important for them. Um, and even though they were moaning lots, I decided that I would kind of ignore what they were saying. Um, and I try and provide one-on-one -on -one support for each of them. And although they didn't really thank me, I know they'll thank me eventually. <laughs> but as I say, it's really interesting, I've been thinking today, it's really interesting that with the 100 Days of Happy, it was quite, it was quite an easy thing to do because you were recognising things that made you happy. But I think this is a lot harder because you're trying to recognise things that you're doing to make other people happy. But it's really interesting, we were just having a chat saying that it makes you more aware of opportunities around you that before you weren't aware of trying to think of ways that you can make other people happy. And I think that's a lot harder than trying to make mm. yourself happy. But it's a lot more rewarding. 